it is 6 in the morning I'm live here with our princess this is their first week of life I'm here to give their second vaccine and to weigh them and we see their weight gain in this first week of life the five That is 82. But before anything, we're going to look at a uh, proper way of handling vaccines, a uh, proper way of mixing vaccines, and a proper way of uh, vaccinating our chickens. Mzee Chicks is my name. Always here to see everyone is doing chickens. Of course, I'm the world's best chicken dad. Make sure we get enough ice that will be enough for us to carry these vaccines uh, from where we buying them to our farms or to where you're going to vaccinate from. Uh, let me show you. this is my weighing scale. This is my weighing scale. And on this particular day, I'm going to weigh also my chickens, and I see their weight gain in this in this first week of their life. It is a weighing scale. I think you know it very well, guys. This is what we are talking about. This is what we are talking about. This is our carrier, and inside here, I'll do it very fast. And inside here. At least this is where uh, I'm having my vaccines. Uh, another tip here, uh, another thing we have to consider here is always we have to vaccinate or to get or to move these uh, vaccines uh, during cool temperatures. Uh, you may do it during morning hours or you may do it maybe late in the evening. Uh, at least temperatures are a bit cool. They be favorable for you to move these vaccines from where you're buying them. Yes, at least here you see inside here. This is my uh, this is uh, my ice blocks. These are my ice blocks. All these are ice blocks inside here uh, surrounded surrounding my vaccine. My vaccines are here in this black pot thing eh? packed here and they are surrounded by these uh, uh, icy blocks. At least if you having a good uh, vaccination a vaccine uh, at least if you having a good vaccine carrier and at, a, at the same time uh, you provided with enough IC blocks it will be very very important and it will be uh, very convenient for you to uh, keep these vaccines guys uh, we always experience what we call in vaccination failure just because uh, maybe the way we are uh, we are moving these vaccines from where we are buying them uh, you in that process just from where you're buying the vaccines, it's enough to make it uh, to, to, to die, I would say to die. Again, our next step here, it's the way we're going to mix these vaccines. The way we're going to mix these vaccines. Uh, still, this is our cooler. And uh, our vaccines are inside this cooler, guys. 
Uh, maybe we are going to try to mix these vaccines. Uh, we have to get maybe a syringe to, to help us in mixing these vaccines. Uh, and then maybe that small container where you're going to be placing this mixture. Everything you're doing here, make sure your hands are inside here, this carrier. Don't do it, maybe remove the uh, vaccination, uh, the vaccine bottle and then mixing it maybe from somewhere uh, here in the air uh, or again moving it with the no. We have to do everything uh, inside here, this vaccine carrier. Uh, after mixing, then uh, we're going to get that mixture. Still that mixture is going to be placed here uh, in this carrier. Then we will be getting just, uh, we will be getting just uh, a few meals. Uh, uh, don't get a full syringe of the vaccine. Uh, just because even our body temperatures uh, can kill these vaccines because our body temperatures are a bit higher than that that uh, favorable temperature for uh, that favorable temperature for keeping these vaccines right Where are you going to sit today? Hi guys, uh, we are starting to vaccinate. Already mixed. We've already mixed our vaccine. And uh, as I said, we're going to vaccinate for Newcastle. This Newcastle, we can vaccinate in two ways. We can just uh, place water in mixed with the, the vaccine in the drinkers or we can do eye drop but for us we're going to be using eye drop eye drop we're going to be uh, placing on our chickies eyes just like this Come. You're on over time. Then another thing also to consider here, it's all about where we are vaccinating you from. Maybe we are giving eye drop. And as we are giving eye drop, uh, uh, you may find that maybe one drop is going to drop to fall down into our chicken house. That is very dangerous. That one drop falling into your chicken house, it is going to become a virus. Nothing. Then afterwards, after giving a uh, vaccine to your chickens, you will be uh, removing this surface. You take it, maybe you burn it, or you dispose it in a pit latrine. Guys, when we take or when we fall all what we are talking about here, uh, we're going to be vaccinating our chickens and we get good results. Yes, 81, 88, 88, 87. 
guys according to what we've wait and according to what we've been doing just picking randomly i think our average weight it is 80 80 so in this first week our chicks are weighing 80 grams which is not bad guys we are not doing bad we are not doing bad so that was the practice of weighing our chicks I think we've picked something out of this. Lots of love, Mosaic Chicks. See you soon.